Bradley? I'm back. What's up? What's up? So did you happen to do anything to him at all? I did on the bottom side. I tried a section since I tried to, instead of doing the whole thing. Mm -hmm. it, it made it shiny. As you can see, like here, it took that like frosty look away. Like the bump roughy look. Mm -hmm. Like all from here back is I polished it with the buffer and stuff. But yeah, there's a little thing on the edges. That's why I didn't want to go too hard and go. Yeah, if you just... I, I gotta pull my car out and then uh, cause I'm right up at the door yeah. and then um, you pull this truck out and then pull right back in. Right. Cool. Alrighty guys, I guess I need to say hi. Welcome back to the channel, what's going on guys? I just got over here to Bradley's house and if you guys didn't watch my most recent video, um, I'll put a link right up here or one of these corners and uh, we're gonna be installing side skirts on the Genesis today and I'll put a link up, up here if you guys wanna see, I painted them myself and that's what we're trying to look at right now because everything went on perfectly smooth and clear all the way up until we did the clear coat. And then for some reason, I think it was just a bad clear and it kind of like spit, I guess is like, it's hard to describe. It almost, get, it gave it like an orange peel. Yeah. Kind of, like the, the clear coat didn't go on nice and smooth like usually like clear coat does. It actually did what paint does and usually peel or does orange peel. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We're just gonna just set them up against the car I'm definitely gonna have to wipe it down because it's super nasty and wet. But we're just wanting to set it up against the car and see if we got the like the color right. But I'm thinking that even though it has that kind of rough texture look on the side skirts, that since it is on the very bottom of the car, I don't think that we'd ever. I don't think you'd even notice. <clears throat> Do you have a uh, like a rag? Yeah. You know, microfiber or something, just to wipe that water off. <laughs> Oh, this thing is nasty, nasty. <clears throat> Look at all the dirt. Gross. You're gonna have to wash this. I think we're just ready for, uh, just set it up there and just see if it's like the same, same color, I guess. Uh, it should, hopefully. It should be a pretty easy install, really. I mean, you're just putting two, um, or just a few bolts. Yeah. I mean, from here, the collar's looking like it's matching up pretty good, collar-wise. Alrighty, I guess we got to uh, put it up on the lift real quick and take the wheels off because we're not going to be able to actually screw in to the sides with the wheels in our way on the floor, so. that monster truck shit going on. <laughs> So for, for now, what we're gonna do is go ahead, because there's not holes that are like put in these things when you buy them. So we're gonna go ahead and put a couple holes in the front with the drill bit. Same thing for the back. We'll probably put three in the back.
try not to drill through our fingers too in the process. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I made a mistake. I guess if you're gonna do this, make sure you line it up first on the car and then figure out where your hole's gotta be. I just thought that it was gonna line right up and we're just gonna be able to put the screws wherever we wanted. But in this case, I made the holes here, here, and here. And if you can see where the body line comes, these holes, there's, there's nothing behind these holes. So you have to actually put the holes real close to the edge. For the front, I went ahead and just threw them in there, and you can see right through that hole. So we have to actually put holes a little bit closer to the body. Alrighty guys, we got these set. So, like I said, we got two screws in here. Make sure that you do a pilot hole, like where these holes were, but they're actually here now. Here's the back. I, this one was way too close. You can see where the body line came across, so I didn't even put a screw in there, so I just use these two. But as you guys can see, like it's it's bowed out, so we're gonna have to go through the bottom in the middle and start screwing through the middle or the bottom of it and actually get it to where it's actually gonna fit flush. Okay, so going underneath though, where the hell are we gonna where the hell are we gonna screw this at? Yeah, because we're going to have to go where the, because these side skirts, they angle like down. Yeah. So we're going to have to like go in here and go at an angle. Alrighty guys, there you go. There's the passenger side is done. It looks so fucking bad. It's, it's hard to see like actually what it looks like because we're up on the lift and it's kind of blending in. But... Yeah, that, that little tiny bit of uh, like color difference in the shade, dude, you're never going to notice. Probably, you, you might, you might a little bit in like the sun, yeah. a little bit, if you're actually looking for it. But I think your eyes are going to be so focused on this black part in the back, because it's, that's definitely going to be the part that's catching your eye, that you're not even really going to pay attention to the rest. But, I don't know, I think it's also cool, Bradley, if you like, if you come over here, and look look at these look at the body line on the side skirts like they like curve yeah. down and then come back up yeah, if you guys can see that yeah see how it like tapers and like it curves it looks pretty cool and we got it flush I'll show you guys underneath so put these two screws like I sh showed you guys screw here Ugh, screw there 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 and before you guys go and say well your screws are silver um i do have some touch-up paint and i'm gonna paint those red so you're not gonna be able to see it anyways even when it's on the ground heck if, at this height this is about how you're gonna see it on the ground you you want to see them anyways to be honest with you also if you guys are wanting any of these side skirts these exact same side skirts i will put the link to, to the amazon account or to the Amazon link in the description if you guys are wanting them. These are the exact same ones that are gonna be in the link. If you guys want them, you guys can go buy them. It cost me 50 bucks to paint these things. Whereas I called, if you watched my last video, I called a, um, a body shop and they wanted $500 to paint these things. Yes, they would be professional. Yes, they'd be perfect. But for 50 bucks, I saved 450 bucks for them to be semi-decent, like, I'm definitely pleased with them. I, I will say that. So, save myself 450 bucks. I think you guys could do the same. Paint it yourself. And it's also like, pat on my back, props to me because I did it myself instead of just paying somebody else to do it for me. So, yeah. <laughs> Yes. Dude, that is so sick. I guess I could have pulled up a little bit further. 
if you guys can see. I'm definitely gonna have to get out in the sun, but dude, that looks so sick. They turned out freaking great. We don't really have a whole lot of room to, to move around. I'll show you guys the other side. It's almost too dark. And the way they fit. And then with the with the rear diffuser and stuff too. Yeah. Same. Being all black and then it just can, continues going all the way around. Oh yeah. It's just a nice another nice little subtle change, you know? I think they turned out Yeah, they turned out great. Super stoked. This car is coming along. This came a long freaking way. Black headlights and everything, dude, like the black roof. I don't know, just it's coming together. Coming together. Yeah. So yeah guys, side skirts will be links will be in the description if you guys are actually wanting these side skirts also. Um, Bradley, thanks again. Let me use your shop, your help. It was definitely a super easy install, like once you actually know what you're doing. Um, if you guys got any, I don't know, intel from the, this video, hopefully you guys did. Um, hit that thumbs up button, hopefully it helped you guys out. If it did, um, if you guys liked the video, man, hit that thumbs up button. I know that these things came out sick, so hopefully I can get out super soon and go get some pictures for Instagram. Follow me at Random Rides, and I'll be posting some pictures of this on that, and uh, yeah. If you guys like the video, man, hit that thumbs up button. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, till next time, guys, keep it random. Peace.